Good morning, this is Amy and I am, I hope, live in uh, Professional Organizers Roadmap to Clients, Clarity, Action and Results. And I am here today to talk about Google Forms. So uh, what is a Google Form? That is really the question of the day. Uh, people have heard about them, but maybe you have never make, made one or know how to make one, where to do it. So. Um, I will show you today. Um, a Google form is really just any form. You can make it, there are many, many, you can, you can use it for anything really. Um, uh, collecting information from um, clients, students, you can make a quiz, a survey, a poll, literally anything. There's a million ways you can use it. So um, Google form is just for collecting information, no matter what kind you need. Um, where do I make one? Um, in your Google Drive, when you click new and make a new, um, make a new document file, if you go to Google Drive and in the upper left, you click new, one of the options is Google Forms. And then you just create it and you're good to go. So there's that. And then, um, I'm actually going to stop this and try again. No, we're good. So Google form in you make it in your drive, do it. And then you can add all sorts of questions, um, a variety of options. How does it work? Once you collect that data, you make all your question different types and think about when you're making your questions, what kind of data you are collecting and how you're going to want to use it. Um, you send out the link to the form which can be embedded on a website or not, you just send out the link um, and then it collects the information and then you can actually also have it dump into a spreadsheet. So that is very helpful. So you can look at it in the form or the spreadsheet. I will show you a couple examples. Um, so you can see. So there's questions on the form like I've used it for client feedback, but if you look at the responses, you can see all sorts of information, including this is what I wanted to show you. You can see some charts, graphs and pie charts um, for whatever questions you have done, and this is actually just the. Um, Google does it for you. You don't actually have to think about which kind of information. Now you need to think about it on the front end, but not the back end. So you can get a lot of information. Then you can also have it dump into a spreadsheet. This is a different one that I've used, but then you can see all of your information in a sheet. So um, make the form in Drive, send it out, collect the information, and then everything gets dumped into a sheet. So that is a Google form. Again, we're talking about using it for your business, so 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 many ways to use it so if you're just a startup business starting out and you don't have a full-blown crm a uh, place to connect your clients then google forms is a great place to start i don't suggest using it forever but it is a really good um, starting point if you don't have something like keep yet um so for intake forms right you could schedule you can uh, collect information about people who are interested like leads, you could collect um, intake forms for actual clients and projects, you could have team members or interested team members like job applications on there, all those things. Uh, once you have some clients, you can also make a client contract in there, because then they can just digitally sign their name and um, the date, you could also have them do check boxes, all that kind of thing. Um, yes, I understand. No, I don't. Yes, I agree. No, I don't. Those kinds of things. So contracts, uh, client feedback forms is how I was using them uh, so that I can collect data on how often people want to be contacted, whether they had a good experience or not, one through five stars, that kind of thing. Um, I use them also for timesheets because I want a way to collect data exactly um, so I know how to bill my clients. So I use them for timesheets. And then I also have a record of um, my, my contractors and employees and when I you know pay them 
why did I pay them that amount? I need a record of that. So timesheets. And then, of course, any survey or poll you want to put out in the world, um, you can do surveys and polls on Facebook or Instagram kind of thing, but then you have the data in your system if you do it in a Google form. So, so many things. I know that was a lot of information all at once, but again, make a form in your Google Drive um, in the new and then send out the link and have people fill it out and then dump the information into a sheet if you want to work in it uh, in a spreadsheet. And the five things that I talked about using it for are intake forms before you have a full blown CRM contracts client feedback forms timesheets and surveys and polls so tell me uh, in the comments either any questions you have about any of those things I mentioned or. Um, anything that you anything else you would want to use it for um, or what else is I thinking any questions you have. Anything else you want to use it for? Um, and if you're interested uh, in working with me more, of course, you can schedule a clarity call with me. So I hope to um, have given you some good ideas to ponder on. And I'm trying to give you all the things that you can use for essentially free <laughs> or comes with your Google account, Google Workspace account, if you have one, um, before you start spending money on other bigger systems for larger businesses. Of course, I recommend keep for um, once you've got enough inflow of cash to work on that. But in the meantime, when you're just starting up and you just need one or two things, this is a great option. So have a great day, put all your questions and comments and ideas uh, below, and I will see you again next week to, I believe, talk about sites as in websites um uh google sites exactly so i will talk about that next week but have a great day in the meantime